and this is group participation below. And I'm just going to let this play out today and just tell you, for, I, I'm, I'm in shock. I am in shock the amount of emails I've gotten, the amount of texts that are still coming in. Right? Did we did we mention who got that uh, that pair of tickets? By the way, I gotta make sure. Uh, the Bruce tickets. Yeah. It was Joe. 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 It was Joe. Joe did it. it. Was Joe. Okay. I put it back over there. <laughs> okay. Fine. He lives in Delaware. I didn't want I didn't want to leave Joe out. All right. But but this is the point at which I gotta start saying my goodbyes. And I'm sorry if I forget some people's names. Please remember, I'm old and I did a lot of drugs in the '60s and in the '70s. And in the 80s, actually, I'm still doing a lot of drugs, except now they're all prescribed. And with that said, I want to thank my former managers, Hal Smith, Mike Craven, Chuck Fee, Rick Feinblatt, John Fellum, and, and presently Joe Bell. My former uh, PDs, Charlie Kendall, George Harris, Ted Utz, Tim Sabian, Buzz Knight, Charlie Lake, and Bill Weston, hands down, the best, TV, the best PD I worked for in my career. We bust this man's chops a lot, but, but he actually likes it. He's a really, really weird man, right? But, but he is the greatest, uh, the greatest program director I ever worked with. Of course, show staff members, uh, Mark the Shark Drucker, Steve Lushbaugh, Grover Silcox, Earl Bailey, Clay Heary, who? All right, uh, Dave Gibson, Dallin Pavey, got to thank them. Got to thank our, inter uh, our inter uh, interns and assistants, Taylor Marzen and Nate, uh, Nate Weaver, who are soon to be Mr. and Mrs. Weaver. They are getting married next Saturday, and uh, they met right here in the show. I told them, I hooked them up. So if you guys get divorced, do not blame mm. me. Uh, Rando, Jordan Lieberwitz, uh, Justin, Adam, uh, uh, John Carlo. I right, gotta make sure to get all of those in. Uh, my former producers, Chip Heronic, Roger Wilco, Kevin Gunn, Karen Buck, Nipsey, Lawrence Bergman, AKA Huggy, Giant Brian, Rob Bonanza Calvert, and Steve Vassilotti, who I said this at an event that uh, for the Walk of Fame, and, and I, I, all I could do is look into the crowd and hope that he saw me. You are, hands down, the best producer I've ever had. Every producer I've ever worked with has always, they didn't, they didn't get me, or, or they just let me get away with whatever I wanted to. You've never done that. You've always spoken up. You've always fought me on what you believe is right. You are a, you are a golden, golden man in this business. And if it wasn't for you, I doubt I could have gotten through the past six months. It would it would have been it would have been impossible. There are friends to thank also who have supported me no matter where I've worked and and no matter what I've needed. So uh, I must thank Larry Maggot and uh, Ricky Blatstein, Stephen Starr. Right, uh, my, my friend Bob Cranes, who checked in with me. Scope, I know you're out there, and I know you're listening, and I always loved your support. Even after you left the company, you made sure I, you always had my back. And my dear friend Dave McGrogan, he busts my chops about my age, I bust his chops about his height, but together we are the rebels of the Sacred Heart. And of course, there are air staffs to thank. I want to thank the full and part-time air staff here at MGK, especially Matt Court, Andre Gardner, and Tony Harris. We may be small, but we are mighty. All right? and, uh, and I need to pay tribute to what I believe was the greatest radio air staff in this, in this city ever heard. Joe Bonadonna, Earl Bailey, Bubba John Stevens, Michael Tiersen, Lynn Kratz, and of course, Pierre Robert. Pierre was the first friend that I had at MMR and the oldest friend that I have in this city today. I guided him when we started and he guided me as we aged. That man is the rock and roll soul of this city and the conscience of his radio station. That man delayed his vacation for four days just to be on the air with me this past Monday. I love him dearly and that at every moment that we've had together has been precious. All right, now comes to the hard part. <laughs> this was the easy part. Now comes to the hard part because I have to say goodbye to you now, all of you people who are listening. I have had a truly magical life. I have met rock stars, rock royalty, and real royalty. I've spoken to the famous and the infamous, and I've done my best to take you with me. We live in a time where everything seems to be about the me's in the world. I've done my best to make my show about us. I wouldn't have a show 
without you. You are as much as important to this show as me or Steve or anybody at this station. I've said it many times that there, the, the, the problem with notoriety is that you meet 99 wonderful people in one a-hole. And unfortunately, you always remember that a-hole. Well, your calls and emails and texts have washed them away, never be thought, thought about again. I can't begin to explain to you how difficult it is for me to say goodbye. Uh, everything I have is because of you people. Everything I have is because of my listeners. The messages I have gotten from you have made me realize how much of a part of your life I have been. I am sorry to say that I, I, I've, I'm sorry. I, I, I feel like I'm abandoning you, like I'm letting you down. I doubt you feel that way, but it hurts so much to say goodbye. So goodbye is what I must say. I love you. I thank you. Have a great life, Philadelphia. Don't take any crap from anybody. And so goodbye is what he must say. Happy retirement, John.